The rehabilitation process begins with surface preparation. Surfaces can be prepared by water blasting, pressure washing, abrasive blasting, acid etching, hand or power tool cleaning, or any combination of these. Regardless of what method or methods are used, all unsound concrete, contaminants, dirt, and debris must be removed prior to mortar application. The most common method of surface preparation is pressure washing at 4,000 to 5,000 PSI. Once the surfaces have been properly cleaned, the substrate should be thoroughly checked for leaks prior to mortar application. A variety of methods can be used to stop leaks, such as grout injection or the use of hydraulic cement, shown here using Mainstay ML10 hydraulic cement. Brick manholes are particularly problematic because they tend to have large surface areas and many potential leak sites. Rather than use a lot of expensive grout, hydraulic cement, and labor to stop numerous leaks in a brick manhole, an alternative strategy is to simply mortar line the manhole with mainstay ML72 restoration mortar allowed to harden and leave remaining leaks in disrepair. When the mortar has hardened, remaining leaks can be repaired using hydraulic cement. The advantage of this process is that once repaired, the leak cannot move to a different location. An additional layer of mortar applied to the desired final thickness results in a smooth and leak-free structure. For cases where corrosion is not present, the application of Mainstay ML72 restoration mortar alone can smooth the substrate, increase structural integrity, and prevent inflow and infiltration. Ideally, all surfaces should be saturated prior to application of the Mainstay composite liner. ML72 can be applied pneumatically to the substrate using low to medium velocity wet mix shotcrete nozzles, centrifugally using a mainstay mortar spinner or by hand using a trowel. Application thickness depends on the condition of the structure being treated and the final structural properties desired. Mainstay ML72 restoration mortar can be applied up to five inches in a single or multiple passes. Extensive finishing is not usually required. However, most contractors will use a pool trowel, a trowel rounded on each end, to knock down the mortar profile, followed by sponge finishing to produce a smooth, lightly textured surface. Mortar may be finished using a broom or brush, depending on the surface texture desired. If the mortar is to be top-coated with additional mortar, it is usually recommended that the surface be finished to a coarse broom finish. If the mortar is to be top-coated with a corrosion barrier coating, such as Mainstay DS5, it should be finished to a smooth, somewhat grainy texture using a trowel and a sponge. In cases where a manhole has experienced or will experience corrosion, the combination of Mainstay ML72 restoration mortar and Mainstay DS5 100% solid epoxy coating is required to both restore and protect the manhole from future deterioration. The protective coating should be applied to the mortar as soon as it is finished, or depending on job site conditions, up to one to two hours later. In any event, the protective coating must be applied to the mortar while it is still soft enough to indent with a fingertip. The protective coating is usually applied by the use of an airless spray pump. The coating may be hand sprayed using a spray gun or it may be centrifugally applied using a mainstay coating spinner. Other equipment, such as an inline heater or plural component equipment, may be used. One significant source of inflow and infiltration in manholes occurs at the joint between the manhole cast iron frame and the concrete grade rings, or bricks, used to bring the manhole frame to its final elevation. Cracks in the manhole chimney may occur as a result of vibrations if the manhole is located in an area of heavy traffic, or as a result of freeze-thaw. Cracks and leaks in the chimney and or at the point where the cast iron frame rests on the chimney can be easily remedied by the application of a flexible joint sealant, such as Madewell 806. The unique and essentially simultaneous application of both a restoration mortar and protective coating 
is the basis for the mainstay composite liner. Because it is not necessary to wait for the mortar to cure prior to applying a protective coating, the structure can be placed back into service in less than one day. Structures that have been restored and protected with the mainstay composite liner can provide over 50 years of structural integrity and resistance to corrosive sewer environments.